What's going on guys? Cody Davis here with Team Arc. Just wanted to take a minute to go over um, a question that we get a lot via you know social media, email, and things like that with customers asking what the deal is with our composite lines of rods. A lot of people are confused as to what composite even means or you know what makes a composite rod. And basically what it is is you know it's kind of a mix between fiberglass and graphite um, back in the day pretty much every fishing rod blank was made out of fiberglass nowadays we utilize graphite a lot more it's a lot more sensitive and it's a lot lighter uh, but that's not to say that fiberglass doesn't have you know good um, you know uh, traits in it so nowadays we're able to actually combine the two and what the fiberglass does is it gives the rod more of a bend, more of a load. So with your moving baits, uh, like, a, like a vibrating jig, a crankbait, um, a lipless, things like that where as a, you know, back in the day, the fiberglass rod was, was heavier. Um, it did have a good load and a good bend to, to keep those treble hooks in those fish. But it wasn't sensitive. Now you have all the characteristics of everything. You have the sensitivity of the graphite. You have the, uh, the, the weight, you know, it's a much lighter rod, but you get that bend and that good, you know, parabolic bend of that fiberglass mixed into the rod now. Um, so that's what I usually recommend to throw when throwing something like a moving bait with, especially with treble hooks, like I said, a crankbait, a lipless crankbait, and even now the craze of the vibrating jig. A composite rod is definitely the way to go, in my opinion. And uh, like I said, you're going to be able to feel that blade going through the grass. It's stiff enough to where you can kind of rip it out of grass if you need to, uh, but it's got that load to let that fish get that bait load up on the hook, and you're just going to, you know, and in my, in my opinion, you're going to land more fish with it.